really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it mm -hmm. had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Hello there, this is Seriously Speaking, and my name is Adesuwa Onyenukwe. For those of you who watch this show all the time, you should know that we are all about causing change. One area I would like to cause change while throwing light on it is the area of people, returnees we call them, people who come back home to Nigeria after having lived their lives abroad or after having all their lives or some of their lives abroad. Some of the shocks that they meet, we'll be sharing that with you today. But more importantly, we'll be sharing with you the values and the lessons that they have learned by coming home to Niger. My name is Adesuwa Onyenukwe. We'll be back. Yes, welcome back. I'm wearing what is described as a skirt suit. Skirt means some kind of trouser and some kind of skirt at the same time. Now, this is definitely an international or Onyinbo kind of style, but it's been done by a Nigerian designer called Emi Kasbis or something like that, but his name is Emmanuel. And it just situates the discussion we're having today. People who are international, but they are very Nigerian, and yet, when they come back home, they just don't seem to fit. My first guest is one such person who, hopefully, by the time you watch this show, she will still be in Nigeria. It's my pleasure to welcome Kemi Ahmed Onubudu. Thank you, Adesa. Thank you for having me. Do you saw what I said? Or you heard what I said? Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. Yes, I'm right. just looking at images. I want to start with images. You're looking very gorgeous in that picture. <laughs> Were you a model? I was an in-house model for some of the fashion designer companies that I worked with, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, and that's, that's, that's me on location, working on a project here. <laughs> oh, really? What brought yes. you here? Okay, let, let's backtrack a little bit. You were okay. born here? I was born here, mm -hmm. uh, but went over to the UK. I, th I think I was the age of five. I was very young, so mm -hmm. I grew up in the UK. So I'm British, or should I say African-British? <laughs> what do you call yourselves in the UK? I, I call myself Kemi. Yeah, I know. Are you African-British or Nigerian-British or um, British-Nigerian? I, I, I'm, I'm a person first. And because of my environment and how I've grown up, I, I am British. But if you really want to name tag me, <laughs> um, I'm Nigerian British. I, our culture is very different. Um, people here are very, very helpful. They're helpful abroad as well, but it's in a, it's in a different sort of way. Um, if, you're, if, you, if, you, if you go to the market or you're carrying something, people willingly come to try to help you. Um, they, they're very, we're very, very religious people, extremely religious people. Is that good or people. bad? I think that's amazing. It's been great. It's been an eye-opener. Um, it's, it's, it's taught me a lot about our people mm -hmm. because I'm not working for people that have been governed by my parents, so to speak. Um, <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Because of your privileged background, you were a bit sheltered even when you came extremely, back Extremely, extremely. So this is your first experience with other people. Yes. So that's why you're here, actually. Yes. But I'll take a break so I can introduce my other guests, one after the other, right. and I'll thank you for being with us. Thank and you, And hopefully Aditra. you're going to remain here <laughs> till the end of the show. Thank you, Kemi. Thank you, Aditra. We're back. I'm in the studios right now with, I call him Chiedu, simply. And uh, he's a sustainable development manager. But my interest in him started when I read an article he wrote about coming back to Nigeria in, in one magazine. I'm not saying which. And he said, uh, there was a piece there, something about when I had a bath with water from bucket. I'd be bucket and water. And I'm like, wow. So when I thought about doing this edition, it had to be Chiedu that would be the only man amongst the women. <laughs> nice to have you here, Chiedu. Nice to be here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I heralded, I mean, I. I worried you, Sha. Ah, uh, a little bit, but nothing really shakes me too much, so. Nothing shakes no problem. you? No problem. Now, you are an American citizen. Yes, I am. So why are you in Nigeria? Uh, because... People I'm, are dying for green card. I'm a Nigerian by blood. I was born in the U.S., but um, I'm a Nigerian. And um, I think it's important, it was important for me to know where I came from, to know my people. And there's a lot of opportunity here as well, so that's why I find myself. But you've, you've been here for over a year now. Yes. And um, what was the first four months like? You know, Kemi has been here four months, and she, she stayed four months at a stretch. And she's like, man, I'm thinking about running away. Did that happen to you too? Um, At four months? I, 
it was it was definitely difficult. There were definitely challenges, um, a lot of adjustments, getting used to the lifestyle here, um, things being inconvenient almost all the time. But um, I, I just felt like I came for a purpose, and I'm gonna achieve that purpose. So I made the best the best of it. Okay, so um, practicing your profession, you were successful. But what were you doing before you came back? Before I came back here, um, I was into football or soccer. I played soccer at university level, played professionally a little bit as well. And that's what actually brought me back here in the first place. I came back, um, well, I'm not good with the years, but um, maybe 2008 is when I first came back from a baby mm -hmm. and it was to play, <laughs> was to play soccer. Um, so I was training with... Um, Super Eagles? With the, well, it's the, uh, the under-20 team. Flying. Mm -hmm, the one below. So I was in camp with those guys, and uh, oh, that's there what, you are. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now there's proof that yes. you actually did that. Yes. <laughs> um, and so that what, that's what opened my eyes to the potential here and, and the importance of, of me coming back and connecting with, with mm -hmm. where I'm from. What yes. was it about that trip that made you connect? Um, just just uh, the people, I, I feel like my whole life, I felt like something is missing. I don't quite fit in here, or, you know, I'm, there's something about me that's just not sitting well here. I need to find what that is. When I came home, I saw it, you know, even though I spent the majority of my life in the U.S., just things about me started to make sense. Like, when I would see other people, just the way they behaved and the way yeah. they responded and acted and the, yes, movement, everything. And so I just, I just realized... What's happening here? This is your work, actually. No, I don't know who that is. Oh, OK. OK, <laughs> I was just wondering. That was an error. OK. <laughs> Thank you, Chiedu, for being here. And we'll be back in a short while. Welcome back to my next guest, who actually was the person that put the idea of the show in my head. We had a chat. Talk, she talked about coming back home and pursuing her passion, which is CSR and PR at the same time. And I'm like, you know, the challenges you're facing, I'm sure there are a number of Nigerians who, Nigerian returnees who are facing it. So we might be able to share these experiences to help them out. So it's my pleasure to introduce Antonia Olaiton Kadri. Did I get it right? You did, thank you, ma'am. Yes, why do you insist on the Olaiton? It's a part of me, it's my name. It makes, it frames me, it makes me who I am. So which one do you push most? Do you find people who say Oyimbo, Olaiton? Was it easy for people to call? Um, in the UK, I do, some people do know me by Olaito, and I try to break it down so they can actually pronounce it, so it's like a Olaito, but then some people sort of <laughs> throw in a, a lighter, and then we try to, <laughs> we work around it anyway. Somehow. So, I mean, tell me, what was the first thing that made you decide, because I'm, we met about two years ago now, we did. and you said you were coming back home and you disappeared. I went back home, I delivered a project. What's home now? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was back in Nigeria, back home in 2013, in December, and that was the first time in 20 years I was back. And I was absolutely blown away with the rate that things had advanced. And um, it was at that point then that I realized that I need to be a part of this. I want to be a part of the new Nigeria. I have talents, skills, and gifts that I want to bring home to empower, to enlighten, to innovate, and um, to share with my, my peers and people that are like-minded. So in deciding to come back home, you say you want to come and make a difference. What area is the one that's most close to your heart? It's Nigeria in a whole. So any way I can make a difference, whether it's someone that I meet on a daily basis, whether it's, um, I, f I founded a charity in 2013. That's how we met. That's how we met. Collecting, you mean, collecting items for an orphanage in Ibadan. The Smile Project. Mm -hmm. And it's about touching people in any way. It might be a big way, it might be a small way, but it's about making a difference when you actually come into contact with that person and making it memorable. Um, and that's what I believe. So if I can make a difference in, in my everyday um, being so out and about, mm -hmm. then... But couldn't you have made a difference in the UK? Why come to Niger? Oh, I've ticked that box. <laughs> <laughs> so I've ticked the box for the UK. Um, I've um, worked within the... I've, uh, a number of different areas within the UK. I started quite early in terms of... Um, working and building up my resume. And um, so I started quite early. And in terms of um, being recognized and awarded for that, I've won quite a few awards in the UK as well. One of the reasons why I want to come back home and share that experience with 
with like-minded people. And thank you all for watching. I hope the returnees keep one leg here at worst and one leg away. But I, I'm glad they have the opportunities, but they've chosen to be home. So hopefully they will be here at least six months in a row and then six months away. <laughs> we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.